This is a boom and bust of BitTorrent by Somak, Kevin, and Kevin. In this presentation, we will discuss the rise of BitTorrent and how it was developed, the fall of BitTorrent and how it failed, BitTorrent services like BitTorrent Entertainment Network and BitTorrent Bundle, BitTorrent Trackers, BitTorrent Peace Selection, and BitTorrent Choking. Good morning. We are going to talk about the rise and fall of BitTorrent. BitTorrent was created in 2001 by Bram. He was frustrated by the long download time that he experienced while using applications such as FTP server or Apache web server. He decided to build something where users could upload files and parts such that each part could be stored on a different computer. Internet bandwidth was slow at the time, often limited to around 10 Mbps per uplink. It seemed like an idle solution to the problem as multiple parts of the file could be downloaded at the same time where each peer provided a part of the file. Over time, various popular BitTorrent software were developed like NewTorrent. BitTorrent Entertainment Network. This was a store which enabled movies, videos, music, video games, and many more to be downloadable legally with a fee. Users can rent content for 30 days, which are protected by DRM. Servers failed due to DRM failure and mismanagement. The fall of BitTorrent. People use BitTorrent to share illegal data such as movies, videos, TV shows without giving contributions to the author or creator of the content. Many people were jailed or fined for hosting websites or facilitating themselves in hosting these torrent sites. Many hosting sites were shut down by government agencies such as the FBI. Rise in streaming services like Netflix, YouTube, and Disney Plus has led to a decline in use of BitTorrent due to ease of use and convenience. BitTorrent trackers. Trackers help peers find one another. The URL of tracker is stored in the .torrent file. The tracker is a very simple protocol layered on top of HTTP. When called, a returns a random list of peers interested in the file. It returns a random list because that is known to be more robust and to have a nice mix of people who have the entire file and peers who are interested in the file and have an incomplete file. Downloaders give info such as what pieces it's downloading and what port it's listening on. And then each peer uses this information to connect to each other. BitTorrent piece selection. A piece is a chunk of a file that will be downloaded and it's around a quarter megabyte in size. A piece will be broken down into 16 more sub pieces when transferred through the connection medium and pipelined with about five sub pieces in queue at any given time. This is to reduce the delay in requests which pile up as data is transferred between peers. BitTorrent has a strict policy of requiring peers to complete the piece in which they have at least one sub piece of. So once a peer receives a singular subpiece, it will then be required to complete the piece that that subpiece completes. This is to ensure that pieces are assembled quickly and assuredly. BitTorrent also takes 
the rarest first approach to replicate the original seeds file as quickly as possible. The rarest first approach involves taking the rarest piece of a file and replicating that first. So the original seed will have all of its pieces together and then a downloader will be interested in downloading a piece from the original seed. That downloader will initially choose any piece at random as all pieces will technically be considered the rarest piece. Then the second downloader who's also interested in the original seeds file will then look for the rarest piece and of the original files pieces the file that um, the piece of the file that has already been downloaded will no longer be considered the rarest piece so the second downloader will choose from pieces that haven't been downloaded this ensures that the original file is replicated fast so that the second downloader can choose to download the first downloader's piece from either the first downloader or the original seed and this opens up more options to the downloaders. BitTorrent choking. BitTorrent does not allocate resources. Resources that include uh, upload speed and download speed. There can be peers who refuse to upload. A peer in connection with a non-uploading peer can choke the connection and slow or even stop uploading in return. So essentially a peer who is refusing to upload in return for the data that it is downloading from other peers can be snubbed by its other peers and gets refused uh, and a download. There is a way out of getting snubbed and that is called optimistic unchoking which applies to snubbed and not snubbed peers. An optimistic unchoking is when a peer will open a line of connection with an unused peer in hopes of finding a better connection relationship. For most peers, for unsnubbed peers rather, there will only be one constant line of optimistic unchoking. And this is to find peers with the hopes of finding a better connection. But for snubbed peers, they are allowed more connections of optimistic unchoking in hopes of finding more peers that are willing to put up with them. Thank you for watching this presentation. Please feel free to contact us regarding this topic.